we begin reading the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem, Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit does a man have from all his labor which he does under the sun? One generation passes away, and another generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun also arises, and the sun goes down and hurries to its place where it arose. The wind goes toward the south, and it turns around to the north. It whirls around continually, and the wind returns again according to its circuits. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Unto the place from where the rivers come, there they return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Is there a thing of which it may be said, See, this is new? It has already been in days of old, which were before us. There is no memory of former things, neither shall there be any memory of things that are to come with those who shall come after. I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem, and I gave my heart to seek and to search out my wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. It is a sad task God has given to the sons of man to be humbled by it. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. That which is lacking cannot be numbered. I spoke within my own heart, saying, Lo, I have become great and have gathered more wisdom than all that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I know that this also is vexation of spirit, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he who increases knowledge increases sorrow. Ecclesiastes chapter 2. I said in my heart, Come, now I will test you with joy. Therefore enjoy pleasure, and behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, It is mad. And of joy, what does it do? I sought in my heart to give myself to wine, yet leading my heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly until I might see what that good thing is for the sons of men, that thing which they should do under the heavens all the days of their life. I made great works for myself. I built houses for myself, I planted vineyards for myself, I made gardens and orchards for myself, and I planted trees in them of all kind of fruit. I made pools of water for myself to water the forest, shooting forth trees. I got servants and maidens and had servants born in my house, and also I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I also gathered silver and gold unto myself and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces. I got men singers and women singers for myself, and the delights of the sons of men, a wife and very many wives. And so I was great, and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom remained with me, and whatever my eyes desired, I did not keep from them. I did not withhold my heart from any joy. For my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my part of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hand had done, and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. And I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly, for what can a man do who comes after the king, even that which has been already done? Then I saw that wisdom excels folly as far as light excels darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walks in darkness. And I also knew that one event happens to all of them. Then I said in my heart, As it happens to the fool, so it happens even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart that this also is vanity. For there is no memory of the wise more than of the fool forever since that which is now shall be forgotten in the days to come. And how does the wise man die? Like the fool. Therefore I hated life, because the work that is done under the sun is sad to me, for all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Yes, I hated all my labor which I had done under the sun, because I should leave it 
to the man who shall be after me. And who knows whether he shall be a wise man or a fool? Yet he shall have rule over all my labor, in which I have labored, and in which I have shown myself wise under the sun. This is also vanity. Therefore I turned about to cause my heart to despair as to all the labor which I did under the sun. For there is a man whose labor is in wisdom and in knowledge and with success, yet to a man who has not labored in it he shall leave it for his share. This also is vanity and a great evil. For what has man from all his labor and from the troubling of his heart in which he has labored under the sun? For all his days are sorrows and his labor sadness. Yea, his heart does not take rest in the night. This is also vanity. There is nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink, and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This I also saw, that it was from the hand of God. For who can eat or who else can hasten enjoyment more than I? For God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his sight. But to the sinner he gives labor to gather and to heap up, that he may give to him who is good before God. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. Chapter 3, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heavens. There's a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pull up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. What profit does he have who works in that in which he labors? I have seen the task which God has given to the sons of men to be humbled by it. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God makes from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor anything taken from it. And God does it so that men should fear before him. That which has been is now, that which is to be has already been, and God requires that which is past. And moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the sons of men that God might reveal them and that they might see that they themselves are beast. For that which happens to the sons of men also happens to beast. Even one thing happens to them. As the man dies, so dies the other. Yea, they all have one breath, so that a man has no advantage over the beast, for all is vanity." All go to one place, all are of the dust, and all return to dust again. Who knows the spirit of man that goes upward, and the spirit of the beast that goes downward? Therefore I have seen that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that is his portion. For who can bring him to see what shall be after him? Chapter 4, Ecclesiastes chapter 4. And so I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of those who were oppressed, and they had no comforter. And on the side of those who oppressed them there was power, but they had no comforter. Therefore I praise the dead which are already dead, more than the living which are still alive. Yea, better than both is he who has not yet been, who has not seen the evil work that is done under the sun." Again I considered all labor and every right work, that for this a man is envied by his neighbor. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. The fool folds his hands together and eats his own flesh. Better is one hand full with quietness than both hands full with travail and vexation of spirit. Then I returned and I saw vanity under the sun. There is one alone and there is not a second. Yea, 
he has neither child nor brother, yet there is no end to all his labors. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches. Neither does he say, For whom do I labor and take good for my soul? This also is vanity. Yes, it is a sad business. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he does not have another to help him. Again, if two lie together, then they have warmth, but how can one be warm alone? And if one overthrows him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. A poor and a wise child is better than an old and foolish king who will not be warned any more. For out of prison he comes to reign, although in his kingdom he was poor. I saw all the living who walk under the sun, with a second child who shall stand up in his place. There is no end of all the people, even of all who have been before them. They also who come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. Chapter 5 Ecclesiastes chapter 5 Guard your steps when you go to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they do not know that they are doing evil. Do not be rash with your mouth, and do not let your heart be hasty to say a word before God. For God is in heaven, and you are upon earth. Therefore let your words be few. For a dream comes through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by a multitude of words. When you vow a vow to God, do not wait to pay it, for he has no pleasure in fools. Pay that which you have vowed. It is better that you should not vow than that you should vow and not pay. Do not allow your mouth to cause your flesh to sin. Neither say before the messenger of God that it was an error. Why should God be angry at your voice and destroy the work of your hands? For in the multitude of dreams and many words there are also many different vanities. But you should fear God. If you see the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, do not marvel at the matter, for he who is higher than the highest watches, and there are some higher than they. Moreover, the prophet of the earth is for all. The king is served by the field. He who loves silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he who loves plenty with increase. This is also vanity. When goods multiply, those who eat them multiply. And what good is it to the owners of them except to see them with their eyes? The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eats little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not allow him to sleep. There is a sore evil which I have seen under the sun, namely, riches kept for their owners to their hurt. But these riches perish by evil use. And he brings forth a son, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came forth from his mother's womb, naked he shall return to do as he came, and from his labor he shall take nothing which he may carry away in his hand. This also is a sore evil, that in all points as he came, so shall he go. And what profit does he have who has labored for the wind? Also all his days he eats in darkness, and he has much sorrow and wrath with sickness. Behold that which I have seen, it is good and right for one to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he takes under the sun all the days of his life, which God gives him, for it is his portion. Also every man to whom God has given riches and wealth and has given power to eat of it and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God, for he shall not much remember the days of his life because God answers him in the joy of his heart. Ecclesiastes chapter 6. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. A man to whom God has given riches and wealth and honor, so that he lacks nothing for his soul of all that he desires. Yet God does not give him power to eat of it, but a stranger eats it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. If a man fathers a hundred children and lives many years, so that the days of his years are many, and his soul is not filled with good, and also that he have no burial, I say, an untimely birth is better off than he. For he comes in with vanity and goes out in darkness, and his name shall be covered with darkness. Moreover, he has not seen the sun nor known anything. This one has more rest than the other. Yea, though he live twice a thousand years, yet he has seen no good. Do not all go to one place? All the labor of man is for his mouth, and yet the appetite is not filled. For what has the wise man more than the fool? 
What gain has the poor who knows how to walk before the living? Better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of the desire. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. That which has been is named already, and it is known that it is man. Neither may he contend with him who is mightier than he. Since there are many things that increase vanity, what is man the better? For who knows what is good for man in this life, all the days of his vain life, which he spends as a shadow? For who can tell a man what shall be after him under the sun? Chapter 7 Ecclesiastes chapter 7 A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the face the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of laughter. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. This also is vanity. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad, and a bribe destroys the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Do not be hasty in your spirit to be angry, for anger rests in the bosom of fools. Do not say, What is the cause, that the former days were better than these? For you do not ask wisely in regard to this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, but it is gain to those who see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight which he has made crooked? In the day of prosperity be joyful, but in the day of adversity take note that God also has set the one over against the other, to the end that man should find nothing after him. All things I have seen in the days of my vanity, there is a just man who perishes in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man who prolongs his life in his wickedness. Do not be righteous overmuch, neither make yourself overwise. Why should you destroy yourself? Do not be wicked overmuch, neither be foolish. Why should you die before your time? It is good that you should take hold of this, yea, also from this do not withdraw your hand. For he who fears God shall come forth from all of them. Wisdom makes the wise stronger than ten mighty men who are in the city. For there is not a just man upon earth who does good and does not sin. Also do not listen to all words that are spoken, lest you hear your servant curse you. For oftentimes also your own heart knows that you yourself have also cursed others. All this I have proved by wisdom. I said, I will be wise, but it was far from me. That which is far off and exceeding deep, who can find it out? I set my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands like bands. Whoever pleases God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this I have found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the sum, which my soul still sought, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those I have not found. Lo, this only I have found, that God has made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Chapter 8, Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Who is as the wise man, and who knows the meaning of a thing? A man's wisdom makes his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. I pray you, keep the king's commandment, and that because of the oath of God. Do not be hasty to leave his presence. Do not take a stand in an evil thing, for he does whatever he pleases. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say to him, What are you doing? Whoever keeps the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart knows both time and judgment. Because to every purpose there is time and judgment, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. For he does not know what shall be. For who can tell him when it shall be? There is no man who has power over the spirit to keep the spirit, nor does he have power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those who are given to it. 
All this I have seen, and I gave my heart to every work that is done under the sun. There is a time in which one man rules over another to his own hurt. And so I saw the wicked buried, who had come and gone from the place of the holy, and they were forgotten in the city where they had done so. This is also vanity. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men are fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be made longer, yet surely I know that it shall be well with those who fear God, who fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, nor shall he make his days longer like a shadow, because he does not fear before God. There is a vanity which is done upon earth, that there are just men upon whom it happens according to the work of the wicked. Again, there are wicked men to whom it happens according to the work of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity. Then I praise gladness, because a man has no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be glad, for that shall go with him of his labor for the days of his life, which God gives him under the sun. When I gave my heart to know wisdom and to see the business that is done upon the earth, for neither day nor night do men see sleep with their eyes, then I looked at all the work of God, that a man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun, because though a man labors to seek it out, yet he shall not find it. Yea, further, though a wise man speaks of knowing it, yet he shall not be able to find it. Chapter 9, Ecclesiastes chapter 9. For all this I took to heart, even to make all this clear, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. No man knows either love or hatred by all that is before him. All happens to all alike. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean and to the unclean, to him who sacrifices and to him who does not sacrifice. As is the good man, so is the sinner. And as he who swears is he who fears an oath. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live, and after that they go to the dead. For to him who is joined to all the living there is hope, for a living dog is better than a dead lion. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead do not know anything, nor do they have any more a reward, for their memory is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy has now perished, nor do they any longer have a part forever in anything that is done under the sun. Go your way, eat your bread with joy, and drink your wine with a merry heart, for God now is pleased with your works. Let your garments be always white, and let your head lack no ointment. Live joyfully with the wife whom you love all the days of the life of your vanity, which he has given you under the sun all the days of your vanity. For that is your share in this life, and in your labor which you take under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For there is no work, nor plan, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where you go. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happens to them all. For man also does not know his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falls suddenly upon them. This wisdom I have seen also under the sun, and it seemed great to me. There was a little city and few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built huge bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then I said, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him who rules among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. We are reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, and we continue reading now chapter 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Dead flies cause the ointment of the perfumer to send forth a stinking odor. So does a little foolishness outweigh wisdom and honor. A man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart at his left. Yes, also when he who is a fool walks by the way, his wisdom fails him. 
and he says to everyone that he is a fool. If the spirit of the ruler rises up against you, do not leave your place, for yielding quiets great sinners. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which comes from the ruler. Foolishness is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. He who digs a pit shall fall into it, and whosoever breaks a hedge, a snake shall bite him. Whoever removes stones shall be hurt with them. He who cuts wood shall be endangered by it. If the iron is blunt and he does not wet the edge, then he must put more strength into it. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Surely the snake will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow himself up. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is wicked madness. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be, and what shall be after him who can tell him. The labor of the foolish wearies every one of them, because he does not know how to go to the city. Woe unto you, O land, when your king is a child, and your princes feast in the morning. Blessed are you, O land, when your king is the son of nobles, and your princes eat in due time, for strength and not for drunkenness. By slothfulness the building decays, and through idleness of hands the house leaks. A feast is made for laughter, and wine makes merry, but money answers all things. Do not curse the king, no, not in your thought, and do not curse the rich in your bedroom, for a bird of the air shall carry the voice and that which has wings shall tell the matter. Chapter 11 Ecclesiastes chapter 11 Cast your bread upon the waters, for you shall find it after many days. Give a share to seven, and also to eight, for you know not what evil shall be upon the earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree falls toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it shall be. He who watches the wind shall not sow, and he who pays attention to the clouds shall not reap. As you do not know what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones grow in the womb of her who is with child, even so you do not know the works of God, who makes all. In the morning sow your seed, and in the evening do not withhold your hand, for you do not know what shall be blessed, either this or that, or whether they both shall be fruitful in the same way. Truly the light is sweet, and a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man lives many years and rejoices in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. All that comes is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth, and walk in the ways of your heart and in the sight of your eyes. But know that for all these things God will bring you into judgment. Therefore remove sorrow from your heart, and put away evil from your flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. Chapter 12 Ecclesiastes chapter 12 Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth, while the evil days do not come, nor the years draw near, when you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars are darkened, or the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those who look out of the windows are darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low, and you shall rise up at the voice of a bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low, also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall blossom, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because man goes to his long home, and the mourners go about in the streets. Or ever the silver cord is loosed, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, then the dust shall return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to God who gave it. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher, all is vanity. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yes, he listened and looked and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out pleasing words, and words of truth written by the upright. 
The words of the wise are like goads. Yes, their collected words are like nails driven home, which are given from one shepherd. And further by these my son be warned. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment, and every secret thing, whether it is good or whether it is evil. This concludes our reading of the book of Ecclesiastes.